As you can see, high school football season is in full swing, all right? Everybody's playing, everybody has a journey. Some are just starting their journey, and some are coming to an end. But there's no better way to end the journey than with your loved ones. What's a better feeling than winning as a coach? Well, it's being able to do that with the family member. At Boca Christian High School, you have the father-son duo of Clay and Joel Shiver. Joel, following in the footsteps of his former NFL father, Clay, learned more than just blocking techniques from his dad. He's just an amazing leader for us. And, um, and part of that comes, you know, when a guy knows what to say. But time and time again, I've seen, like, if the guy puts the work, work ethic in, it's not about the guy that knows what to say. It's the guy, when he says something, that everybody listens. Check Brownie, check Brownie, follow! That listening goes both ways. You could think of Joel as a messenger when it comes to situations with the team. We typically have those conversations after football games. We talk about, you know, the team and how we did. And we typically, like, try to, like, work on, you know, each other's, like, faults. Like, somewhere like he, oh, he forgot to call a play. We'll be like, yeah, he'll work on that. Or, like, I forgot to call a blitz or something like that. And but it's not always about football. Sometimes. you got to turn it off because I would, hey, we were on a dinner. Hey, you know what? You could have done this a little better. Or, hey, what if we do this? And at some point, the guys are like, dad, like, I, can we just eat tonight, you know? Can we just ride home and, you know, talk about something else? Clay and Joel have been on the same field together for the past four years. With this being the last time they get to be together with Boca Christian on their uniforms, you got to wonder, what will they say to each other at the end of the season? That I'm proud of him. You know, I think for every coach, a player that's come in uh, and been through the entire four years of their program, I think any coach should say, I'm proud of you. It's been real. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been the best four years of my life playing under his, his coaching. And, you know, honestly, I don't think I could have been coached by anyone better than him and him alone because, you know, he's just my dad and he's such just a great man of God and everything. It's just, I'm going to miss it. It's a beautiful story, Tyree. It, it, it's been real, like he said. Yeah, it was beautiful and it's been real. It has.